It's a little world. It's the one and only man. moment in time man it's a pleasure to be right here in front of you again i have a limited amount of time at this moment in time i gotta move on to my next activity so i'm excited to produce this video blog right here right now you know as of recently i've been upgrading i've been increasing in the amount of communication that i have with my environment why is this because i saw in my life you know, at some point in our lives, we have to become conscious of where we are in order to know where we're going to go, in order to know how to take the next step forward. The way that you know what the next step is for your life, for yourself, is to become aware of your current condition in this life. You see, I became conscious of my condition in life. I mean, I become more conscious of it every single day, but... Dating back a few months ago, I became more conscious of the condition that I'm in in my life. And I really had to wake up and say, you know what? It's time for me to take full responsibility for what's taking place in my life. Now, this is a very, 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 very important moment to recognize for yourself. You know, we're all going to face certain obstacles and circumstances in our life where we can take ownership of the moment that is in front of us or not. You know, every single day we're faced with another opportunity to master the character that we choose to play in this life. Now, my character as master myself, it's important for my character to live the kind of life every single day and every single moment. Because how you live one moment is how you live every moment. But it's important, this is what I became conscious of, right? And this is... A part of my lessons in life. Me speaking it out here in front of you on these video blogs. You know, I know that these moments in time are done after this moment in time. This will never happen again. You won't hear me speak like this ever again. Because next time that you hear me speak, I will be a deeper version of myself. I will be a greater version of myself. I will evolve from the shell that I am now. I know this to be a fact because if you go back to the videos in which I was creating years ago, and I have them here, right? If you go back to those videos, you're going to be able to witness the shell of a communicator that I was at the moment in time. Now, something that I will continue to encourage everybody that lives in this era, in this moment in time, everybody that I can get in communication with, it's so important. I'm going to continue to emphasize this to everybody because I know how important this is. But it's so, so, so important to realize that these moments in time will never happen again. 
to realize that your life is passing by. How many moments do you have recorded of your life? Do you remember what happened 23 days ago? I don't. Do you remember what happened three years ago, specifically on this day, whatever day it is that you're watching this video? Do you remember what happened three years ago? Just think about it. If you don't remember that consciously, if you're not aware of exactly what took place on that day, which is a lot of information to recall, it's not to say it's not there in your subconscious mind, but it's a lot of information to recall. So if you become, not if, when you become conscious of your current condition in life, you begin to take ownership of your life on a whole new level. Now, owning your life, I'm at the age at the making of, of this video, uh, this is the last few days that I will be 27 years old, right? Or I've had 27 spins around the sun, or this is my 27th solar return, you know, however it is that you want to interpret whatever it is that I said. You can say I'm 27 years young at this moment in time at the making of this video. So it's important to know. It's more than just important. It's vital for you to really get that this moment will never happen again. This moment, understand the value of what happened today, in your today, in your life, in whatever, whenever it is that you see these videos or this video. Become conscious of the fact that what happened today will never happen again. And what happened yesterday will never happen again. Therefore, you can, by those two datums, those two facts, <clears throat> you can begin to look and predict, right? Predict is just a pre-say. Dict is dictation, right? That's, that's how I interpreted it. I don't know what actually dict stands for, but uh, no homo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> but dict, as in D-I-C-T, not... Ladies, get your head out the fucking gutter, all right? I know your mind went there, and you started thinking about me. Yes, I have a big dick. I'm a black man. What do you expect, right? <laughs> Not all black men have big dicks, from what I've been told. I don't know all black men. I haven't seen all of that. I don't even know how I'm talking about this right now. Now, it's important to understand. Dictation, <clears throat> meaning the words that we use to, to express when we, we, we look at the fact that our past will never happen again, our present right now, the words that I'm saying will never come out the way that they're coming out right here, right now. Then you begin to, to understand that we can now predict that tomorrow we don't, we don't, we will never experience what happens tomorrow the way that you will experience what happens right now. Because tomorrow you will be have accumulated so much more data. You, you, you'll have so many more experiences to attest to the character that you thought you were at this moment in time. When we begin to, to, to put life in these sections, we begin to bring order to every one of these sections. Your past, your present, and your future. How do we cooperate on this line, on this domain, okay? I don't know if that's the right word, but if you understand what I'm putting down, then it's meant for you. If it's not coming to you, if you're not receiving it completely, then that's okay. It's not meant for you. Just listen and learn and, and enjoy. I mean, I got a beautiful poster of the Black Panther here. I got a beautiful logo, master myself, the, the, the emblem, the sigil. Shout out to Eric B for that. Salute, brother. Tones design. Tones as T O N E S underscore design. D E S I G N. Find that man on Instagram and bless that man because when you invest in yourself and you can communicate what it is that you value and what it is that you want to, to, to project or create, if you can communicate that com com uh, cooperatively, cooperatively, properly, um, 
just to the point where it makes sense for the other individual, if you can communicate that to somebody else, what happens is you get results like this. <clears throat> this was a, a sigil that manifested after a conversation between me and my brother. I didn't tell him to the degree of, of you know, the, um, the details, the hidden symbols, the, the, I don't know, that thing's called insignia, right? All, all within the sigil in itself is so powerful and it's so beautifully hidden that I didn't notice it when I first saw <laughs> the sigil. I, I remember conversating with my brother, Eric B. And he was like, I told him, brother, this is what I want in the, in the sigil. And he said, brother, look at it again. I said, like, what you mean? <laughs> he said, look at it again. I looked at it again. I said, oh my goodness. He's like, it's right there. I was like, wow. That man is talented. So, <laughs> that's a little commercial for my brother, Eric B, man. Salute to you, man. It's a pleasure to be in conversation and communication with you on a regular basis, man. It's a so a pleasure to, to be attacking with IMC Nation. You know, if you don't know what IMC Nation is, just do yourself the favor. Go to Instagram or even go to Google and type in the hashtag IMC, the, the letters IMC, and then Nation, right? You can tap into that and you can understand what it is that I'm a part of. That's my brotherhood. That's my, those are my partners in life. That's my spiritual game. It's my tribe. Those are the men that I trust my life with and I'm willing to, to protect and provide for those men and, and vice versa. We are all across the world. We are 300 strong, but we're even way more than that. We can't really, well, I don't choose to discuss on how many people that are actually are a part of it, um, but it's a big thing and it's only growing on a regular basis. Now, <clears throat> we have to stay conscious of our condition now to to become conscious of the condition that you are carrying in your life simply look at this is what blew my mind when i was thinking about it earlier simply look at the condition of your communication this is so important you know it's so vital to understand that your communication is what you need to be able to to creatively direct your life we use words to direct and create our worlds don't miss out on the opportunity to witness your communication and to witness your communication is going to point to exactly to the condition that you are in life the condition that you are i had to face this for myself earlier the condition that i'm in now is a result of only my communication so when you begin to pair this in your world, you begin to make sense out of your life. Now, you may say, Jordan, you're, you're, or JD, Master for myself, you're, you're, you're all over the map. You know, um, you're bringing me this idea and this concept and this knowledge and, and this unawareness and, and understanding. Well, all of that is important to the character that you're creating yourself to be right here, right now. It's all going to point back to. However, some of the most valuable things that I've learned being a part of INC Nation thus far is, has been stressed in my imagination and my communication. Now, I take responsibility. I take the ability to respond to my life with my communication every single day. Every single day, I become greater at communicating just by witnessing being in touch with one of the highest community, well, the most highest communicators in the world, the most powerful communicators in the world. His name is AZD. That's my mentor. That's the man I learned from. I listen to him every single day. I learn from this man every single day. I learn something, somehow, some way. I'm evolving. The process is all internal. But when the external world begins to, to change, that's the last part. That's the last manifestation of what has been taking place internally. I've been on an inner spiritual journey. I take pride in knowing that my communication has expanded from where it started. Therefore, my condition has expanded from where it started. I'm in a better condition here now than I've ever been in my life. And I'm only going to continue to get better and better and better. That's my vow. That's my obligation to my life. 
That's my duty to fulfill, to create a better life for myself. Because when I create a better life for myself, I create a better life for those who are engaged with my life. Those who make it a part, a, a point to be in communication with me. I have people that hit me up. I don't usually hit people up unless I'm inspired to. I'm in spirits of that person or that idea or that thing. But as I begin to, to expand in my communication, I know what's getting ready to transpire in my world. The external world begins to reflect the way that you communicate. So I've taken the, the vow, I've taken the duty of expanding in the way that I am perceiving my life. And to expand in my perception is to, to now begin to expand in the way that I communicate about my life. Man, there is so many aspects to my character in which I'm yet to unveil. But I'm excited because these video blogs are a part of me releasing myself. Releasing aspects of my character that I'm still forming. That I'm still coming to an understanding of. But you're getting to witness this process. There's not many people that are willing to share their personal process of how they evolve. Of how they grow, of how they create. Now I've learned how to share a personal private process by keeping the integrity of my personal private process still through watching my mentor. Because he's the first example, he's the first reference that I have for that. Because he's the first reference, I know that he will not be the last. I am now a, going to be a reference for other people on how to create their life by expressing themselves and experiencing what it's like to express the, the energy within you. To let it just exude out. To let it just become as it is. And let it take off and, and, and travel and go in the way that you set it. By using your words, you use your words to create. And what do you create with the words that you have? The words that you use. You create a world. I know that I'm here to impact, not only impact, I'm here to influence, not only influence. I'm here to change, not only change. I'm here to be the example of what that change looks like in my life, in my world. So that the world has an example and can say, look at that man. That man right there decided that his life mattered more. More than what? It mattered more than the words that were created for me. To, to, to the words that were used to create the lifestyle that I was living before I began to live on purpose. Let me grab some water here real quick. Fill it in my throat. No homo. <laughs> That's two references. No homo. <laughs> I am not uh, homosexual. I am heterosexual. Therefore, I take pride in saying no homo. I'm just not that. So I am heterosexual. I enjoy women more than you know. I'm, I'm tapped in with women on a whole nother level. I'm actually with women expanding my communication. This is where actually where the, 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 the spirit derives from. The, the expansion in my world is going to come from my spiritual experience but but exchange is the best word i think with the feminine counterpart because we work not in opposition to each other but in complementation with each other but that's a whole nother subject that's a whole nother level you got to meet me on a whole nother frequency in order to tap in with me on that wrapping up here because i gotta get going once again Own your condition in life. Own your presence in life. Own what's happening in your life right here. Your kingdom as a man. Own your kingdom. Even if your kingdom is the little leaf in the grass. You sleep in the grass in the park, in the middle of the park where there's nobody else around. Own that space. Know that that space is yours. You have a right to exist in this 
space and time, in this universe, in this world, on this planet, in whatever state it is that you are in, in whatever condition you find yourself in, own that. Take responsibility. When you take responsibility, you begin to respond to your life and not just take part. We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. This is the one and only master myself tapping in from IMC Nation. Y'all know what it is. Be the best and fuck the rest. Knowledge of self is knowledge of wealth. This is the one and only master myself. I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Salute.